stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch were so Patrick Foley, and I am the president of the class of 2020. On behalf of the Butler High School class of 2020, I would like to thank the Board of Education, Dr. Johnson, Mr. Fitzgerald, Mr. Benson, teachers, staff, family members, and friends who took the time out of their day to attend this virtual graduation. I want to also thank the administration for everything they have done for us to make this year memorable during these trying times. I believe that B.B. King said it best. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. In the past few months, the class of 2020 has learned this well. Needless to say, we have had some tough times due to COVID-19. This quarantine started off as an extended spring break. At first, most of us were happy. Who would want to be in school when you could be home watching Netflix all day and playing video games? But as the day turns into weeks and the weeks turn into months, we slowly began to miss school. The unthinkable had happened. Kids actually wanted to go to school. We begin to miss human interaction. We miss those three hour practices after school that left us sore for days. And we miss the teachers who would nag us about missed work and upcoming test or quiz. Our new principal, Mr. Fitzgerald, and our new vice principal, Mr. Benson, realized how we were feeling and organized a way for our teachers to come visit us at home. This being just one example of what our administration has done for us to make this year enjoyable. Even though it's hard to see it now, we should consider ourselves lucky. Most schools are simply mailing their students a diploma and calling it a day. Our administration put together this virtual graduation so we can have some sense of normalcy in our lives. And for that, I thank them. Ever since our freshman year, people have been telling us high school would fly by. That would be the fastest four years of our lives. Looking back, I think we all laughed and never really believed that. How could four years go by in the blink of an eye? However, most can agree that it most certainly did. While we may not remember every interaction with one another, no one can take away the experiences we had, the feelings we felt, and the memories we've made. It feels like just yesterday, I was getting lost going to my first class, Ms. Corsero's freshman experience. I still remember taking the first of many Julius Caesar quizzes in Ms. Dasher's class. I can't believe four years ago, some random kid walked up to me in Ms. Bignell's history class and asked me who I was. Today, that same kid is one of my best friends, and this year's student body president, Servano Bautista. That being said, this journey would not have been possible if it weren't for our parents. The same parents who put up with 7 a.m. practices during the summer, early meetings during the week, and late night games over an hour away. Our parents are, and always will be, our biggest supporters, our biggest fans, and will always be there to pick us up when we fall. In addition, I wanna thank all the grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, and teachers who has helped us get us to where we are today. Well, this year definitely did not go the way we expected. I want to congratulate my classmates for accomplishing so much in the little time we had in high school. This is not the way we imagined we would graduate. This is not the way we imagined that this year would go. However, that should not take away from this momentous achievement. Graduating high school is a huge milestone, a stepping stone to greater things. As Mr. B.B. King said, no one could take away our experiences. 
And while we may not remember every formula we learned in high school, every element on the periodic table, or every fact about U.S. history, we will remember the relationships and the experiences we have been given. These have all shaped us to be the people who you see on your screens today. We are the young men and women who changed over the past four years and who are ready to embark on the next stage of life. Whether it be college, the workforce, military service, and everything in between, I know that this year's graduating class will succeed. Thank you again to everyone who has helped us on our journey and for all you have done for us. It is my privilege to welcome our principal, Mr. Fitzgerald, and remember, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Good evening. I am truly honored to welcome our Board of Education members, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family members, friends, and especially the Butler High School class of 2020. I would like to personally thank the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Johnson, and Business Administrator Dr. Tierney for their continued support throughout the year and your dedication to all of our students. I would also like to thank our Butler High School faculty and staff for their dedication and commit commitment to our students each and every day. In addition, I would like to thank the entire community for your support and assistance from the first day I arrived at Butler High School. Now let's get to the stars of the evening, to the Butler High School class of 2020. Tonight we celebrate this incredible class in a different way. We are celebrating in a way that no one could have envisioned even when we left school in early March. What we all thought would be a two or three week break for precautionary reasons has become something so much more than that. COVID-19 has affected everyone in so many ways. Our thoughts certainly go out to all who have lost so much during this crisis and to the frontline workers who continue to protect us on a daily basis. I am as heartbroken as you are that your final months at Butler High School have been cut short due to this global crisis. I understand the frustration, the anxiety, and the desire to find some normalcy again. You certainly deserve to celebrate all the milestones that graduates typically take part in during their final months in school. I do encourage you to stay strong and focused like you always have as our state and country begin to reopen more and more each week. Keep in mind, there will be celebrations, parties, and get-togethers again. You will get through this and you'll be able to look back on this pandemic and draw strength from this experience that has helped shape you for a brighter future. Tonight's ceremony is particularly special to me, as tonight's graduates are my first as the principal of Butler High School. And I could not have been more impressed with such an incredible group of young adults. I can vividly remember being at the school in August of 2019 and meeting a variety of students. From the student council to the marching band and color guard and to each of the athletic teams, you welcomed me with open arms. I found myself saying, how lucky am I to be principal with such a great group of kids? As the school year started, my goal was to get to know as many of you as possible. Well, you certainly did not disappoint. From Friday Night Lights to the fall drama to our Pops concert in March, I walked away with so much pride and admiration for this special class of 2020. Your resilience and grit were on display each and every day at Butler High School, and I often found myself bragging to my own family members and friends just how special you are. Graduates, I know you will use this experience to take on future challenges and obstacles without fear. Your mental toughness and intestinal fortitude cannot be matched. Inside each and every one of you lies the necessary components to meet any goal you want to pursue. Because of your will to succeed, your positive attitude, and refusal to quit, you will be even more prepared to face the challenges of the future than even previous graduating classes before you. I ask you the following question. How will you use this experience to go out and make the world a better place? Maya Angelou stated, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. I am very confident after watching this class excel this past year that you will not let this roadblock deter you from achieving your goals. You will not use it as an excuse to stop you from forging ahead and making a difference. I can say without reservation that you will be the difference makers, the game changers, and the spark which re-energizes our country. Here are just a few highlights of this amazing class of 2020. You have won six conference titles, a county title, and a state sectional title. Your music program has achieved superior rankings at musical festivals. Your marching band has doubled in size and attended competitions this past fall. 
Your choir program has had several students receive all region and all state recognition. Your theater arts program was nominated for four acting awards at Montclair State this past winter. Some of the finest institutions of higher learning will welcome new Bulldogs in the fall of 2020, including the University of Pennsylvania, University of Villanova, Rutgers University, NYU, and TCNJ. We have Bulldogs who will service our country in the armed services next year. Your DECA program continues to be recognized at the state and national level. We have many students majoring in helping professions such as nursing, teaching, and business. It's obvious that, this, that collectively you are an amazing class with so much potential. As you follow your own individual paths in the upcoming months, it is important to tap into that potential and use it to find success in life. Confucius once said, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Now graduates, you may think that finding one's potential is easier said than done. But I encourage you to look within yourselves. It's in there. The character and leadership you have demonstrated over the past four years can't be measured. Identify that passion and stick to it. Continue to use that resilience and commitment that the class is defined by, and you will hurdle every obstacle in your path. Accept failures as part of the journey and be confident in your decisions. You have certainly weathered a storm that has tested your strength and character, yet you still continue to, pers to persevere. Your time to shine again is coming soon, and you are well equipped to forge ahead and make a positive difference in the world. As your principal, I am so proud of you. I wish you all incredible success and happiness and always know that you have a home at Butler High School if needed. It is my hope that all of you use that potential and pursue every opportunity you are afforded in life. Take risks, be creative, and never be satisfied with the status quo. Always remembering our motto, it takes more to be a bulldog. On behalf of the faculty, school administration, and the Butler Board of Education, congratulations and best of luck to you all. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Catherine Toscano. Welcome, Catherine. Good evening, students, staff, administrators, friends, and family. I wanna thank you all for joining us in our graduation. I wish that we were all together celebrating this special day in person out on Memorial Field, but I'm happy that we were able to celebrate virtually. As salutatorian, I was tasked with talking about the last four years of high school. I asked myself if I should address the last 12 weeks since these last three months did not turn out the way that we had all expected and decided that I should. It is part of our experience, the class of 2020, the resilient class. No other class has experienced what we have, and for that, we will always be united and resilient. We are born in the shadow of the 9-11 attacks, and we graduate during a pandemic. What is left to say except we are resilient and destined for greatness? They say that we are a collection of our memories and past experiences. Well, the class of 2020 certainly has that. And just because things are different today does not mean that our memories will disappear. Our high school experience has been filled with wonderful memories that we'll reminisce about for years to come. We began our high school experience as young, timid freshmen trying to navigate the halls without getting lost. We came into the school year as students from two different towns, but by the time June rolled along, we were united as one. During our first year, we experienced homecoming, spirit weeks, football games, and joining sports teams and musicals as we tried to find our place at Butler High School. As freshmen, we also began to learn the traditions of Butler High School. In order to support our football team, many of us decided to join the Dog Pound, which is our school student section. So many memories of school spirit and uniting as a class comes together, comes to mind when thinking about those Friday nights in the Dog Pound. No matter what the weather was like, people were in the pound, cheering, wearing themed clothing, whether it was white, pink, Hawaiian, or American. After Bulldog victories, everyone, including the Dog Pound, would run down Pearl Place and up Hasbrook Ave to get to the Rock, where we would celebrate our win and hear Coach L announce the Bulldog of the game. As our sophomore year began, we were happy to no longer be considered freshmen and to be moving up the food chain in high school. 
We all look forward to taking driver's education so we'd be one step closer to getting our driver's license and having more freedom. Once junior year rolled along, our confidence soared since we are now considered upperclassmen. But with the title came the stress of SATs, college searches, and AP tests. However, we all looked forward to getting our licenses and going to prom. That year, our football team was state sectional champions and was playing at MetLife Stadium. This is a memory that we'll all treasure. Even though it was absolutely freezing out, the dog pound was filled with students. We weren't gonna let the cold stop us from cheering on our team. Finally, the most important year, our senior year. We are now the leaders of the school. With senior year came the privileges that we've been looking forward to for the past three years. Off-campus lunch, blue and gold passes, and a spot in the senior parking lot. A proud moment that we had as seniors was at the winter pep rally. We defeated the underclassmen in every event. However, we lost in the cookie eating contest. But that is understandable since Mr. Kelly is the cookie eating champion and wins every year. The one loss that we faced against the underclassmen was in the Christmas tree decorating contest. We came in second for that and somehow the sophomores defeated us even though our tree was far superior. Then came March 12th. It started out as a typical day and then around two o'clock we were told to clean out our lockers. We all thought we'd be returning to school in a few short weeks. None of us knew it'd be our last time that we all occupied Butler High School together. None of us expected that our senior year would turn out the way that it did. However, we were able to create new memories that other classes have never experienced. We have had virtual Zoom classes, virtual meetings, Mr. Fitzgerald's weekly updates, sometimes dressed as a bulldog and sometimes with his actual dog. The teachers personally coming to our homes to deliver us beautiful lawn signs, acknowledging our graduation, our AP teachers hand delivering goodie bags and writing us motivational letters to support us through our AP tests. Dr. N hosting a virtual black tie event lunch where we got to dress up in our prom dresses. Picking up our caps and gowns as teachers and administrators waved us on forming a parade of cars as each of us waited for our caps and gowns to be delivered to us. What wonderful supportive teachers and administrators we have. As a community, people have come together to support us. The world has come together to support us. What other class can say that they had a virtual prom hosted by Jim and Dwight from the office or got to say that they waited hours online with students from all over the area to get free Krispy Kreme donuts? All the support that the class of 2020 has received is what is important because it shows that we are all unified. We are all in this together. Although our senior year may not have ended as the way that we have imagined and we may have lost milestones that we expected to have as seniors, we have gained others. We'll be stronger for having gone through this. We are resilient, the class of 2020. As JK Rowling once said, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have power to imagine better. Remember, graduation is not defined by a cap and gown. It is defined by our achievements and what we plan to do with what we have learned. As Oprah Winfrey said, we are the chosen ones. The class of 2020, we have learned a lot and experienced so much. We, more than any other class, have the ability to make the world a better place. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are resilient. It is now my pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian, Stanley Chen. Good evening, class of 2020. Before I begin my speech, I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who helped us reach this pivotal point of our lives. First of all, thank you teachers for the endless love and dedication you gave to our education. Thank you administration and faculty for creating a safe and educational environment for Butler students to flourish in. A special thank you to Dr. Johnson, the Board of Education, Mr. Fitzgerald, Mr. Benson, and Ms. Corsero for making this moment possible. And finally, thank you parents, our more supporters who always believed in us even when we gave up on ourselves. You all have impacted and influenced the fine young men and women we are today. To all of us, Butler represents our hometown and our childhood. Although I was a newcomer, 
I'm confident to say that I share the exact same feelings. When I moved here four years ago, I anticipated the usual challenges any new student would. Days of confusion and loneliness, weeks of making new friends, months of being accustomed to a new school and community. As I moved twice prior to Butler, I was all too well familiar with the dreadful process. However, Butler was different. Ever since my arrival, I've discovered what truly makes Butler unique is the affection that we share with each other. I experienced this firsthand when I was introduced to my classmate, Average Butler. That particular day, one kid greeted me in a surprising way. Upon being called on, he rose from his seat and shook my hand, smiling as he said, hello, my name's Richard. This caused a spontaneous burst of laughter from his classmates, who mocked him for his joke. However, it was not the joke, but rather his response that hit me. Here was a student who knew nothing about my identity, my background, or my past, and yet would still be able to acknowledge and accept me as a fellow classmate. From that encounter, I understood the meaning of Butler's hashtag small town big heart. Although Butler may be a small town, we possess a big heart that's filled with love for one another. That kid will go on to become my very best friend. As seniors, we're at the pinnacle of our high school career. It was only four years ago when we first entered high school and now we're leaving. During these rapid four years, we've accumulated amazing new friendships, skills, and relationships. It was truly an amazing experience. This evening, we meet in the most unusual circumstances. A microscopic foe has temporarily changed our lives in a drastic fashion. Though my assignment as valedictorian is to look ahead, I certainly will be remiss not to mention all the frontline heroes who have demonstrated selflessness of indescribable proportions. On behalf of the Butler High School class of 2020, we salute and thank you. Through your efforts, the members of this graduating class have learned a very valuable lesson. The world is a challenging environment and needs the next generation of heroes. It is our time to utilize our education, our skills, and our talents to change the world. No one said it better than Malcolm X. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Class of 2020 will have many talented students entering the medical, educational, and military professions, as well as many more. Our generation will provide not only great leaders, but ones capable of changing the world. Well, my graduate, graduate students, we're coming to a fork in the road. Although it is an ending to an amazing four-year journey, it is also a beginning to a new chapter of our lives. We all have accomplished so many achievements. Let this moment be a stepping stone for more. Robert F. Kennedy once said, few will have the greatness to bend history itself, but each one of us can work to change a small portion of events, and in the total of all those acts will be written in the history of this generation. And I truly believe that this class has what it takes to make history. As the valedictorian, I'm incredibly grateful to have met every one of you and shared our best moments together. For my last words, I just want you to remember, regardless of where your future plans may take you, you will always be part of the class of 2020, and more importantly, the Butler Bulldog. Congratulations. Mr. Fitzgerald, it is my honor pre to present the class of 2020. Thank you, Stanley. On behalf of the Board of Education, administration, faculty, and staff at Butler High School, please join me in recognizing the class of 2020. Tori Aluzo. Julian Amadio. Andrew Balistreri. What's going on, Dog Pound Hype Man here. I just want to thank my family, friends, and teachers for four amazing years at BHS. Dog Pound Hype Man out. Thomas Batapede. Hi, it's Tommy Batapede. I want to thank Butler High School for all the great memories and good luck to everybody. 
Servando Bautista. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2020. I'm so grateful for all the memories I've made these past four years. Thank you to the teachers, staff, and these wonderful people I like to call my parents. John Beck. Jody Bedell. Marissa Bello. I'd like to thank my family and friends for making the past four years so special and my teachers for making me have such a successful career. Congrats to class of 2020. Hunter Beverage. Peace out, Butler. Daniel Bogus. I would like to thank all my teachers for their help and guidance throughout my high school years. Your extra efforts have made this day possible. Michaela Brady. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, VHS, for a good four years. Ryan Brady. This goes out to the class of 2020. Let's end it off with a splash. Lily Brancaccio. Aiden Brankert. James Campbell. Robert Cardillo. Anthony Catalano. Logan Charman. I would like to thank my friends and family for helping me get through this four year journey. And I especially would like to thank Mr. B and Miss Rose. Thank you. Stanley Chen. A huge thank you to my wonderful parents my amazing teachers and my friends for supporting me along this four-year journey. You all have shaped who I am today. Thank you. Anthony Colavito. What's up, everybody? I'm Anthony Colavito. This is for class 2020. Sean Croker. Thank my parents and everyone who stuck with me through high school. Julie Decker. Go. I'd like to thank my friends and family for all the love and support they have gave me. Robert DiMartino. Rachel DiPiola. James DeRosa. Hey, would you look at us, huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Vincent DiGirolamo. Hey guys, it's Vinny. It's for the class of 2020. See you guys later. Christopher Dino. Jazel Duran. Christopher Durant. I want to thank my family, my friends, and teachers for an amazing four years at Butler. Matthew Eman. Claudio Federici. Abigail Fieldhouse. Michelle Fioretti. Justin Flack. Anthony Florio. Fernando Garcia. 
I want to thank everyone who's helped me out in the past four years. Without them, I would not have gone this far. And I wish everyone good luck and thank you. Myra I. Garcia. Tiffany Janao Reyes. Annabella Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez. Christopher Gonzalez Diaz. David Goodman. Sydney Gregg. I'd like to thank the teachers and staff for everything they've done for me over the past four years, my family, friends, and the class of 2020 for all the memories we made and all the memories we lost. I wish you all the best of luck. Matthew Hagen. Jenna Hallaw. Ackerley Hamir Hernandez. Alexa Hinchman. Brandon Hinchman. Jessica Hoft. Jessica Hoyle. I would like to thank all my amazing teachers at Butler High School, especially Coach White, Mr. Kelly, and Ms. Fatzer. And I would also like to thank my family for always supporting me. Charles Hopper. Brielle Hoyne. Hi everyone, I just wanted to thank a couple people. I actually wrote it down here. Jimo, Janet, Pebbles, Robin Lee, Uncle John, Jeremy, Kayla, Aunt Olari, and Aubrey. Thank you Cake. very much. Taylor Sue. Justine Ioni. Jason Illidan. I want to thank teachers and staff for an amazing four years in Butler High School, and I also want to thank my parents for supporting me these past four years. Monica Jakubowski. Congratulations to my fellow 2020 classmates. I'd like to thank my family and friends for helping me get through this journey. Bye. Christopher Jewett. Jonathan Limey. Hi, my name is Jonathan Limey and I'm going to Siena College to major in Social Work and Religious Studies. I would like to thank all of the members of the Drama Club. Lauren Lippi. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for all their support through my high school journey. Jacob Luciani. What's going on everyone, it's Jake Luciani. Just wanna give a quick shout out to all my family, friends, and faculty members that I've had over the last four years. I really appreciate you guys and go Nova. Tucker Lynch. Viviana Macera Morales. Even though we didn't expect high school to end this way, I'm still very thankful for all my friends, family, and teachers who have helped me out along the way. Austin Marr. Hi, my name is Austin Marr. I would like to thank my friends and family for all the memories I made at Butler High School, and I will be continuing my education at the County College tomorrow, studying criminal justice. Alexis Marciano. Gabriel Martinka. Alicia McBride. Alicia McHugh. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. <laughs> Ariana Medina. Jenna Migliorino. 
Thank you to my friends and family for making these four years or three and a half years one to remember. Congrats to my fellow classmates of 2020. And even though it got cut short, it was one to remember. Lonnie Manaya. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, I'm pretty sure we all didn't expect to do this, but I guess you can say we're a part of history, but we did it. Logan Murthes. Patrick Monahan. Past four years have been awesome. Thanks to all my family, friends, and teachers. Can't wait for what the next four years have in store. Spencer Miles. Elizabeth Navs. Cody Newberger. Amna Noor. I would like to thank all of my teachers and my classmates from these last four years, and I'd like to give a special shout out to Rebecca Warga, who's been my closest friend since freshman year. Noor Omar Aga. Evan Ortiz. Jordan Ortiz. Amanda Osmolowski. I'd like to thank the teachers, coaches, and staff that have helped me throughout the years. I'd also like to thank the class of 2020 and congratulate them on the next chapter of their life. Rachel Parisi. Thank you to the Butler District for everything they have taught me over the years, and thank you to my family for pushing me and supporting me even at my worst. And to all my fellow classmates, I wish you all nothing but the best of luck with everything that your future holds. James Pellegrino. I just want to thank uh, my parents, my brother, my teachers, and everyone who helped me get through these four years. Nicholas Parada. Hannah Perry. Teresa Piccarillo. 12 years ago, we were walking in on our first day of kindergarten, and now we're here graduating. Thank you to all my family, friends, and teachers for shaping me into a person I'm proud to be today. Congratulations, guys. We Alyssa Polito. Hi, it's Alyssa. I just want to give a special shout out to all my friends and family, and to all the teachers who inspired me to do big things when I'm older. I'm going to miss you guys. Jason Polens. Congrats to my classmates of 2020. But remember, now that we graduated, we have to realize that our bosses won't accept notes from our mothers. Polens out. Anna Pshigansky. Hamza Kesem. I want to give a huge thanks to all the Butler teachers and the staff that really helped me this year. And I also want to thank all my peers for really making this a great year for me. Montserrat Ramirez Figueroa. Federico Reyes. Patrick Reyes. I want to thank my family, my friends, the homies out there. This is a great four years. Sean Reardon. Peace, Butler. Teresa Rodriguez. Thank you to everyone that helped get me here and congrats to the class of 2020. Dominic Rogutskia. Sean Sanchez. Haley Scott. Casey Scott. 
Molly Scott. Brendan Semerero. I would like to thank all my family, my friends, and the teachers and staff at Butler High School for some of the best years of my life. Ethan Smilas. Yes. I'd like to thank all my classmates and teachers and family and friends for helping me get through all these years. Evan Smith. I want to thank my friends and teachers for making high school enjoyable, and I want to thank my family and coaches for supporting me every step of the way. Phoebe Snow. I just wanted to say thank you to my mom and Brett who helped me get this far. I couldn't have done this without all your help. Angela Sratovic. I would like to thank my family and friends for getting me through the years of high school, and to all my fellow classmates. We did it, guys. Brianne Stackhouse. I don't really have anyone to thank because no one can push you as hard as you. So I guess I'm really thanking myself. Matthew Stevens. Thanks for an amazing four years, brother. And I'm off to Liberty University. Justice Struble. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and teachers for all the great memories of Brother High School. I'm going to take my talents to Seen Hall University. Megan Sweeney. I want to say thank you to my family, my friends, and my teachers for making the last four years of Butler High School truly memorable. Andrew Thomas. Catherine Toscano. I'd like to thank my parents, teachers, and coaches for all the support they've given me these past four years. I'd also like to thank the class of 2020 for making high school so memorable. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Maria Tao. Dane Turner. Dania D. Valdez Bardales. Thank you for all the people that's involved in our education. And of course, to the country to give us the opportunity to graduate. God bless you. Evan Van Lenten. Emma Vanderhoff. Joseph Vela. Ashley Victor. Alyssa Vigorito. Catherine Villa. I would like to thank everyone at Butler High School that left a lasting impression on me. But in the immortal words of Ariana Grande, Thank you. Next. Joseph Vitone. Hey, thanks, Butler High School, for all the memories. I'm moving on to better things. I'm going to William Patterson. Joseph Foley. Striking out 2020. Patrick Volley. I want to thank the teachers, coaches, and staff for all they have done for me over these past four years. I want to thank the class of 2020, and I want to congratulate them on the next step in their life. Joseph Walsh. Rebecca Warga. Emily Weinbrock. Matthew Wallowitz. To the class of 2020, sorry I had to end this way. You guys can catch me at Coastal Carolina University. 
Thomas Yazdi. Thank you to all my teachers for preparing me for the next stage in my life. College, here I come. Brianna Ziegler. Hi, thank you to Butler High School for the best four years and thank you to the staff and all the teachers for helping me get this far. Madison Zucker. Shout out to my friends and family for shaping me into the person I am today. Thank you to all that made my years at BHS so memorable and the class of 2020 will go down in history. It is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, NFL legend, Brett Favre. Congrats to the class of 2020 at Butler High School. Um, I know COVID-19 has made things extremely difficult for not only you, but for all. Um, but the description of you guys is a special group of kids, um, small, small school state champs last year. Uh, congrats on that as well, but congrats on graduating uh, this this year and be got, you guys be safe and be proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. So take care and God bless. Congratulations class of 2020. Please join me in the traditional turning of the tassel. Good evening. My name is Servando Bautista. I would like to take a moment to recognize all the teachers and staff who have helped our class reach this important point in our lives. They were instrumental in leading us, teaching us, and influencing us in our preparation for the real world. Thank you to all the Butler families who have brought up these athletes, artists, and scholars. You have guided us in the right direction and have always encouraged us to do better. Throughout my four years at Butler High School, I've encountered people that have asked me how my experience was here. They tell me that we're a small school or that other towns are better than us. The good thing about being the underdog is the commitment we put into our work. We have always been the ones to have to train harder, study smarter, and quickly adapt to changes. This is what makes the class of 2020 so special. We anticipate and take advantage of the opportunities that occur. It is this unique mentality that we Bulldogs all possess to excel wherever we go. I understand we are all going through tough times right now, and for many of us, this seems like a really anticlimactic ending. We shouldn't let this ruin our strong spirits. We will rise from this hardship together, because that's something that this class has always done. Never give up. This quality has helped us overcome our obstacles in the classroom, on the field, and anywhere we go. You have learned that this is why it really takes more to be a Bulldog. Rather than spending time worrying about what was and what could be, we have to treat each day as a gift as it is. Look back and acknowledge how much you've accomplished at this wonderful school for four years of your life. You will appreciate all the friendships, education, and memories it has been able to offer you. As our Butler days are over, we will grow and take different paths in our lives. We may feel sad that high school has come to an end, but we must be enthusiastic about what lies ahead of us. We'll come across new connections and build new memories. I am eager to see what careers my classmates will engage in and what changes they will make in the world. I know each and every single one of you has the potential to succeed. I've seen the passion and dedication every day stepping into this building. Never forget your alma mater, the Butler Blue and Gold. Just how you will never forget those incredible Friday nights on the memorial field. Those engaging pep rallies, those days you forgot to study for a test, those captivating music concerts, and finally, the day you receive your diploma and look to the future with a bright smile on your face. Today is where your book begins. The rest is still unwritten. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2020.